Hey guys, I got home and it's completely pitch black in here. The power has gone out apparently and they're having trouble getting it back on. Bear with me while I try to figure out what's going on. What? What in the world is that? What's it doing sitting here? Obsession night. It's crazy. Glad to be back in some actual light today. First impressions. It is Halloween, so it is a perfect fragrance for not only Halloween, but the holidays. There is that nutmeg note in there, hoping, hoping to get a whiff of that. And also for kind of more along the, what I call a mood fragrance, kind of mood incentivizing for darker, rainier days, which is what you're gonna have during the winter time a lot more. When the weather gets colder, the kind of weather and fragrance that you wanna grab a good book, grab a blanket, curl up, and fall away into, or escape into a new and different world. So let's give it a whirl. Did bring my trusty knife this time to get into it. Taking that wrapping off there. I've gotten better at that too. Quick and easy. Put that there for later. The box is just your standard box. Popping the top off. Open that so you can see. And of course, just like the name implies, it is gonna be a darker presentation. So, turn it around, there we go. Obsession for men. It's like a really nice oval or teardrop shape. I really like that. In terms of the actual box itself, you have Calvin Klein on the top. You've got Obsession Night for Men Eau de Toilette Spray, Calvin Klein, and this is the 125 ml bottle. You can see that. And on the sides, nothing. On the very back, you've got your ingredients, your distribution product information, as well as your batch code and UPC there. And on the, actually on the bottom is, yeah. You can see that's the batch code. So that's it for the box. The bottle, I really like that. It is a dark, it looks black. It is a dark, dark blue. I don't have a light to shine behind it, but if I did, you could see through the bottle, it's sort of semi-transparent there. I really like that though. It's like a blue black or a midnight blue color. The lid itself is also semi-transparent. Take that off. It is plastic, but very well made. As you can tell, it fits very snugly on the top there, the atomizer. And you can definitely hold it up by the lid, which is always a good sign. I do the, the hold test. Glass bottle on the very front. Of course, you've got Obsession for Men, Obsession Night for Men, Calvin Klein, see? And on the very bottom, an adhesive sticker with a batch code and product information as well. Since the bottle is round, there's no additional information on the bottle itself. Let's see how that atomizer works. I will say this is a perfect size, fits perfectly in your hand. Perfect size for spray, making spray easy. Uh, let's spray this way. Actually, let's spray this way, away from electronic, shall we? <laughs> Let me close this up. Okay, so let's see what that, let's prime it twice. All right, really good juice out of that. Oh, yes. See, this is what I was expecting out of Obsession Night. Top notes, you've got Artemisia, cardamom, pear, and grapefruit. So you've got that fruit, but it's a darker, more mysterious, especially the pear note really adds a lot of layered elements. Adds a, a kind of a mysterious note, a, a mystique. In the mid, you've got nutmeg and musk, and that's great because the holidays are coming up. Nutmeg's gonna make its appearance in spices and food. So this is a great, I think this will be a, a great accoutrement to your holiday uh, feasting and visiting of parents, friends, neighbors, relatives. Ending with a 
base of patchouli, vetiver, and vanilla. And I really like how the vanilla and the nutmeg almost make this like um, a darker, more pathologic uh, eggnog for the skin, as it were. So in the open, you've got this fruity, almost floral sensation with the artemisia, the pear, and the cardamom, and the grapefruit. I really like grapefruit notes when, when paired with, no pun intended, paired with other fruits like pear and bergamot, uh, pear, lemon, lime, the citrus family. The grapefruit seems to be more of a serious citrus in that it blends better with a little bit deeper and darker fragrances that give it kind of a mysterious, almost seems like Obsession Night has an incense base or like a darker, maybe even a hint of amber. It kind of reminds me of Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male. Uh, I believe uh, likely because of the pear note. Uh, I believe there are, there's a couple of other like patchouli and cardamom in uh, JPG's Ultra Male as well. As well. Uh, also sort of reminiscent of Bulgari Man Black and there's also a Burberry London that has a couple of notes in this that I, that I sense as well. All of those are very similar to Obsession Night. The only thing that concerns me that I can't necessarily cover in a first impression is it's drying down and lacking the oomph that it had at first in the open. So I would imagine that in the mid and especially in the dry down, this fragrance is going to become a lot more muted. Now that may be appropriate with the name Obsession Night, it is dark, you know, things at night become darker and more quiet. The sounds at night are increased by seven multiplied by seven because it's so quiet, you can hear them better. You would think that a fragrance that also has night and obsession would get louder as well, or at least maintain that strength, that uh, vigor in the mid to dry down and with some longevity there. I'm hoping so. Later I will do a, an actual full-on review of Obsession Night and kind of see where it goes. But right now, what I'm judging just from the tester strip and I have put some on my arm, is that it really doesn't take that long for it to, to dry down. And, and I hope it's not like prone to effect loss. Like the best notes that you sense in the top uh, or the mid tend to go away before you can fully appreciate that note, you know, before it has its full impact or full effect on the actual fragrance. There are quite a few fragrances out there that do that. I'm hoping Obsession Night is not one of them. But again, we'll save our judgment for a full-on review. As of now, I see no reason not to run out and get a bottle of this, especially with 125 mil. It's going to be a great purchase. Definitely not a blind buy. I highly recommend it. It is going to, you can get this uh, for anywhere from $50, anywhere from $40 on up for a bottle like this. And it is money well spent. Happy Halloween, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed my first impression of Calvin Klein's Obsession Night for men. If you do not have a bottle, I highly recommend adding it to your collection. If you do have a bottle, use it. It's going to be great for the holidays. We've got Thanksgiving, Christmas coming up. And it lends itself more for colder weather, cool weather fragrance, where it makes gives you a sense of, of warmth and comfort, as well as that mysterious com complexity that you've come to appreciate about certain Calvin Klein's. Give them some layers, layer of mystique there. Very mood oriented fragrance. All right, guys, that's it for my first impressions of Obsession Night for Men, Calvin Klein. I hope you enjoyed stopping by. I'm really happy that you took some time out of your busy day. It is a holiday today. I wish you the very best. Happy Halloween. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time.